Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Sunita Rohr, working as an assistant professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department of Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Topic cover here is top-down passing. There are two types of passer, top-down and bottom-up passer. Top-down passer build the pass tree from top to bottom, while bottom-up passer starts from the leaves and work up to the root. In both cases, the input to the passer is scanned from left to right, one symbol at a time. In previous video, I considered the top-down passer, recursive descent passer and the predictive passer. And in this video, I am going to consider one more top-down passer that is non-recursive predictive passer. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to know what the non-recursive predictive passing is and pass the string using the non-recursive predictive passing. Non-recursive predictive passer. It is possible to build a non-recursive predictive passer by maintaining a stat explicitly. The key problem during the predictive passing is that of determining the production to be applied for a non-terminal. The non-recursive passer look up the production to be applied in a passing table. A table-driven predictive passer has a, an input buffer, a stack, a passing table, and an output stream. The input buffer contains the string to be passed, followed by the dollar, a symbol used as a right end marker to indicate the end of the input string. The stack contains a sequence of grammar symbols with dollar on the bottom indicating the bottom of the stack. Initially, the stack contains the start symbol of the grammar on the top of the dollar. The passing table is a two-dimensional array M of capital A, comma A, where capital A is a non-terminal and small a is a terminal or the symbol dollar. In passing table, each row is a non-terminal symbol, each column is a terminal symbol or the symbol dollar, and each entry holds a production rule. The parser is controlled by a program that behaves as follows. The program consider capital X, the symbol on the top of the stack, and small a, the current input symbol. These two symbols determine the action of the parser. There are four possible parser action. First, if x is equal to a is equal to dollar, then the parser hides and announces the successful completion of passing. Second, if x and a are the same terminal symbol different from dollar, that is x equals to a which is not equals to dollar, then parser pop x from the stack and advances the input pointer to the next input symbol. If x is a non-terminal, the program considers the passing table entry m of capital X comma A. If m of x comma A holds a production x derives y1, y2 up to yk, it pop x from the stack and pushes yk, yk minus 1 and so on up to y1 into the stack. The parser also output the production rule x derives y1, y2 up to yk to represent a step of the derivation. Fourth, if none of the above, then error. All empty entries in the passing table are error and the parser calls an error recovery routine. If x is a terminal symbol different from a, this is also an error case. Non-recursive predictive parser algorithm. Now these four possible actions are explained in the following flowchart. Input to the algorithm, a string w and a passing table m for, for grammar g. Initially, the parser is in the configuration with w dollar in the input buffer and the start symbol s of the grammar g on the top of the stack about dollar. The flowchart shown below uses the predictive passing table M to produce a predictive parser for the input. First step, 
set ip to point to the first symbol of w repeat let x be the top stack symbol and a the symbol pointed by the ip if x is a terminal or dollar then if x is equal to small a then pop x from the stack and advance ip else error else x is a non terminal so if m of x comma a equals to x derives y1 y2 up to yk then begin pop x from the stack then push yk yk minus 1 and so on up to y1 onto the stack with y1 on top and output the production x derives y1 y2 up to yk and else error until x is equal to dollar that is stack is empty output if w is in uh, l of g that is the language of that grammar g a leftmost derivation of w otherwise an error indication till now i consider the topic what is non recursive predictive parser and working of it now pause this video and reflect on this question for a minute or 2 minute and write your response once you return the answer to this question then you then you can restart playing this video the question is what is the difference between recursive descent parsing predictive parsing and non recursive predictive parsing i hope all of you have completed this activity so the question was what is the difference between recursive descent parsing predictive parsing and non recursive predictive parsing so the recursive descent parsing requires backtracking while the predictive parsing requires the implicit recursive call and no backtracking and the non recursive predictive parsing maintain a stack rather than implicitly via recursive call consider the grammar given below a predictive parsing table for this grammar is, sho is shown in figure in parsing table blanks are error entries while non blanks indicate a production with which to expand the top non terminal on the stack the input string is id plus id with the input id plus id the predictive parser makes a sequence of moves shown below initially the parser is in configuration with w dollar that is id plus id dollar in the input buffer and the start symbol e of the grammar g on the top of the stack above dollar the input pointer points to the leftmost symbol of the string in the input column the parser traces out a leftmost derivation for the input that is the production output are those of a left leftmost derivation the input symbols that have already been scanned followed by a grammar symbol on the stack make make up the left sentential form in the derivation finally stack as well as the input contains dollar hence the parser halts and announces the successful completion of parsing consider the second example s derives a capital b a b derives b capital b or epsilon and input string is a b b a a predictive parsing table for this grammar is shown in figure initially the parser is in configuration with w dollar that is a b b a dollar in the input buffer and the start symbol s of the grammar g on the top of the stack above dollar as shown in step 1 initially input pointer points to the input symbol a so output the production s derives a capital b a as shown in step 1 push a capital b a into the stack as shown in step 2 top terminal symbol of the stack a matches with the input symbol e hence pop e from the stack and delete input symbol a from the input buffer 
as shown in step 3. Now stack contains A capital B and the input buffer contains BBA. Now input pointer points to the input symbol B and the top of the stack is capital B. So output the production S derives P capital B as shown in step 3. So push B capital B into the stack as shown in step 4. Top terminal symbol of stack B matches with the input symbol B. Hence, pop B from the stack and delete the input symbol B from the input buffer as shown in step 5. A stack contains A capital B and the input buffer contains B A. Now, the input pointer points to the input symbol B and the top of the stack is capital B. So, Output the production as B derives B capital B as shown in step 5. So push B capital B into the stack as shown in step 6. Top terminal symbol of stack B matches with the input symbol B. Hence pop B from the stack and delete the input symbol B from the input buffer as shown in step 7. Now. The stack contains A capital B and the input buffer contains B A. Now input buffer points to the input symbol A and the top of the stack is capital B. So output the production capital B derives epsilon as shown in step 7. So replace capital B by epsilon on the stack as shown in step 8. Now the top terminal symbol of the stack A matches with the input symbol A. hence. Pop E from the stack and delete input symbol A from the input buffer as shown in step 9. Here the parser stresses out a leftmost derivation for the input. So finally stack as well as the input contains the dollar. Hence the parser hides and announces the successful completion of the parsing. This is the reference. Thank you.